Good evening and a very warm welcome to News Night. I'm Ajay Shukla. Every night from Monday to Friday, we'll bring you the news of the day and discuss the big stories. Today, an eminent panel will debate public service broadcasting. How best can we bring you, the viewer, the most important person to us, an accurate and rational perspective? No, it's only the public broadcaster who can do this job. You're talking about no. strategic communication here. Yeah, uh, strategic communication and information. And remember, India has a very, very large diaspora. I mean, which way people are, are interested to know what is back home, happening back home, what is India thinking about, let's say, some developments in the Middle East, what is, what is it, I mean, you know, the various things that they want to be informed about. Now, the question is, there is an issue of credibility, but that is not all. The, the, the issue is, the, the effectiveness of independent uh, public broadcasters has always been when they are not answerable to a government. In India, you created the trust, but the funding of the trust comes from Mr. Manish Tiwari's ministry. Now, it has to be independent of the ministry. It has to be directly under parliamentary su uh, supervision and accountability. As well as the appointment of officials. No, that, that you create a system. You, you, you create a system where these appointments take place, and we have such systems in our country. You have the Union Public Service Commission, you have various other systems that you have, but it's not government controlled in terms, and that is very important. If you separate the funding, we'll, of we'll this come, we'll come and, we'll and, 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 and about this and, funding. And, and then it would be accountable to the parliament because the parliament funds it from the Consolidated Fund of India. We'll, we'll talk specifically about the funding, but Rajiv Prasad will be in. In our very polarized political atmosphere, you know, where people almost reflectively, reflexively oppose what the other side is saying, would you say that there is a certain appetite within the BJP to support this reform of uh, Prasad Bharti Public Service Broadcasting, Doordarshan? First, uh, uh, we have to identify actually what we actually want to achieve, and unless until you are very sure what you want to achieve. All this discussion will not have much meaning. What does the BJP want to achieve? Well, uh, I would not be able to comment on that mm -hmm. as of now. But uh, what you want is a public broadcaster carrying issues of education, health, uh, <coughs> uh, people's concerns. People's concern. Then you decide that mandate and say, this is what I want and this is the model which I want. So whoever wants to switch it on, switch will switch it on and watch it. So absolutely perfect. And you, you, you subsidize it, you give funds. But what you are trying you're to do is, about you're, what you're trying casting. to do is, mm. what you're trying to do is, you're mm. trying to match the market, compete in the market, and say, I still remain a public broadcaster. You can't have two, you can't be sailing in two boats. You have to decide what you actually want to, and let the people know. What, who what would what would you recommend? Well, uh, uh, I, I'm not very clear about it whether we actually, uh, but as I see what uh, Doordarshan or this broadcaster has been doing, is trying to compete with. Uh, with the rest of the channels. So like mm -hmm. Manish is 800 channels and you are one of them. So if you have that position, you have to decide whether you want to compete with the world and establish mm -hmm. yourself or you want to be a dedicated channel for a public broadcast, which Manish Tiwari can, hand, uh, can handle, of course, be a part of it. So you have been in between, you have not been able to add, give a mandate to this, what you have wanted to achieve. And so possibly if it continues like this, mm -hmm. I have my doubts whether we actually, uh, it will survive. I said, as, as I said, it's like Air India which will survive because the government wants to run it and the officers and others and bureaucrats and politicians have to travel. So this would be also continuing as because we want it because you will have a CEO in, in Air India as an IS officer. There are no merit right. across. Mm -hmm. So you will have a CEO in Prasar Bharti as an IS officer. Mm -hmm. So if you have a mentality to continue like this, mm -hmm. no one can stop. Uh, retired as I would say. Maybe retired. <laughs> Sanjeev, I'm, so I'm, Sanjeev I'm going to come to you with a very important but selected, question. And let me qualify that. <laughs> selected, selected by a committee which is headed by the Vice President of India, who is also the Chairperson of the Council of States, the house that both of you honorable members <laughs> well, belong to. We can have, I would like to we'll, yeah, Well, it, I mean, if there's, a, if there's a call for even greater separation of powers, I don't think anybody mm. would really argue with that. Sajeev, I'm going to come to you with the question that has been raised by speaker after speaker, and that is the question of funding. Who should fund and run India's public broadcasting organization?